So Fallout 76 just got a 27 gigabyte update and some of the things that this update came with is a whole new long quest line to dive into and a new boss fight that we can go up against and this thing is terrifying. It has a whole cool little animation when you first encounter it too. It comes down through the church and we have to fight it. This thing is called the Jersey Devil and it has a lot of unique attacks too. It's not just, you know, a simple boring boss fight. It can actually be pretty tough, especially if you're a bloody build. I died against this thing quite a bit and my damage is insane with my bloody build and it still took me a little while to take it out. So yeah, that's pretty cool that this was added. And not to mention when we take it out, we have some options that we could choose from to have different outcomes. Like we can save the dad's daughter from her addiction with the devil's blood, which we have to harvest uh, the blood from this Jersey devil when we do take it out. Or we could choose to be greedy and, you know, profit off this devil's blood, which ends up being a whole nother outcome with the dad's daughter. I actually genuinely enjoyed this quest line, and I would tell you if I didn't. I'm real with you guys over the content over Fallout 76 because I care about Fallout 76. I will mention if the content sucks or not. Like, for instance, I don't like expeditions. I don't care for them at all. I mean, they're cool for, I guess, some players. It's like a repeatable grind for players, but I'm tired of the repeatable grind in Fallout 76. I think we got enough of that, and we got enough different currencies to deal with. What I personally want and like to see are the new storylines and new bosses, which we get both of those. And this storyline can take quite a bit of time to be. It's not just something where you just go there and there and it's done. No, there's quite a bit of different quest within this. And there's different outcomes too within this as well. So if you like those kind of like multiple choices where your uh, choice makes a difference, you're going to enjoy this quest line. And also not to mention, there's some new goodies that we can get, such as, for example, a new plushie. As you can see, for those of you that are interested in the plushies, there's a Jersey Devil one now, and here's how big it is and what it looks like. And there's also a whole new armor set that we can get called the Civil Engineer armor set. And there's two bonus effects that come with this armor set. You get this full armor set from completing this whole new quest line, which I'll be showing you all how to start this here in a second for those of you that are interested in doing this and don't know how. Um, but yeah, you get this whole new armor set, and here are the bonus effects that it comes with. If you're wearing the new full Civil Engineer armor set, you get a bonus effect that has a 10% chance to inflict a 150 damage to melee attackers, which could be beneficial. Uh, especially how a lot of the enemies in the game attack with melee and also your weapons will break 35% slower which that's one of my favorite bonus effects from this overall the armor set is good and it has some pretty solid uh, resistance too as you can see here so yeah I recommend diving into this new quest line that's in the game not only do you get some beneficial rewards but it's actually an engaging quest line. Genuinely, I enjoyed it. There are some players that didn't. They said the voice acting sucked and stuff, but I don't know. I was invested. There's a lot of plot twists, a lot of drama. Um, there's even romance involved, too, and a lot of multiple choices where you can choose different outcomes to happen. Overall, I thought the quest line was solid. I would tell you, once again, if it sucked or not, in my personal opinion, you know, people can have different opinions. Man, the world would be super boring if everyone had the same opinion. But yeah, I genuinely enjoyed this one. And you could start it by going to any train station around on the map and interacting with this poster right here. There's a new poster that you'll find at train stations. So yeah, just interact with this poster and then you'll have to go over to the Rose Room, which that's a new location. Well a new updated location on the map. It's located right here, right next to where you fight Earl Williams, another boss fight in the game. And it's also a free fast travel point too, which can be beneficial to help you save caps, you know, navigating around on the map for those of you that like to take advantage of free fast travel points. But yeah, this is what the updated location looks like now. Definitely has improved since what it previous looked like. It used to be a cultist theme going on here with tons of vines and everything. You can actually see uh, the progress over here where they like cleaned up the area. They chopped down the vines. <laughs> and they also, you know, cleaned up here too. Well, you can see like they were cleaning it up, how they were cleaning it up. 
It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's what the outside looks like. I guess this is how they got their goods to this place, too. With this carriage. Anyways, let's head inside. I'll give you a tour of inside the place. Keep in mind, I completed this quest line a little bit ago, so it's going to look different for you when you first enter this place. But yeah, downstairs here, it's the showroom. Little bar. Pretty cool. And then upstairs here. Never thought we'd be together again. Why don't some tables where they can get some drinks, play the slots, gamble with some cards. They basically turned this house into a gambling area or just an entertainment place, really. It's where you would get checked in at. <laughs> and back here, I don't know if this is going to be unlocked. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you could see they were uh, experimenting on this lesser devil, which you find these in the Atlantic City area. Which, speaking of that, you can actually travel there now without having to do an expedition. I'll show you that here in a little bit after I do this tour. That's another new feature that came within this 27 gigabyte update. Pretty cool. A bunch of junk items here you can gather and display at your base too, like this working desk fan for one example. Anyways, let's head upstairs. The Russo family, by the way, is living here. There's Evelyn Russo, Abby Russo, Antonio Russo, and Don't another guy as well. They came from Atlantic City to here. So yeah, this is what the place is looking like now. Anyways, real quick here, I'm going to show you all as well how you can just travel over to Atlantic City without having to do an expedition. All you got to do is just press start, pull up the map here, and then, you know, pull up the expeditions. If you're on Xbox, you press X, and then click Atlantic City Expedition. And when you choose one of these locations, like for example here, I'll choose the boardwalk. Why not? If you choose that, we can now just travel to the district. This works for all the districts, as you can see. And if you choose to travel to the district, there will be just more NPCs around and stuff like that that you can interact with and see. Instead of you just being on a mission, you get to just travel around, look around for some secrets. There are some added new secrets too. But yeah, you just see a bunch of civilians and, you know, people interacting with each other. Which I thought was pretty cool. Definitely like that. But unfortunately we can't make a camp over here or anything. That's an unfortunate part. But I'm super excited for the whole new expansion that's coming. I'm definitely excited for that. The expansion to the map. Where we're going to be able to go to the south part of the map down here. They're opening up down here. I'm super excited for that. There's going to be tons of new locations. And of course a new storyline. And probably even a new boss fight. I'm assuming. Super excited. That's what I'm most excited about. But yeah, nonetheless, this is pretty cool how we can just travel over here and check out the place without having to worry about being on a mission. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everyone. Hope you all found this enjoyable. If you did find it enjoyable, consider leaving a like on the video. The support is greatly appreciated and also would help push this video out more on the algorithm so more people can realize that there's a new boss fight and quest line and rewards in the game. Um, let's see if we can get this video to surpass, I don't know, 300 likes or something. That'd be awesome to see. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leave a reminder here in the end. I'm out of here, though, everyone. As always, most importantly, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.